Hi, welcome to another 4 players chess match. I'm the operating system and today we're gonna be playing as yellow. So right off the bat we're seeing several different techniques of how they want to to play this early game. I have here tempo advantage on blue because he decided to start with his king pawn, pawn so interesting decision of his part here just block that when the game decides to stop lagging there we go so i'm thinking that of pushing both of these pawns up like this so that i can challenge that the pawn I, I only need, need one pawn to come all the way here. Yeah, the other option is pushing this pawn all the way up. Which will deny a couple of things. Okay, there we go. Green has a a uh, cool strategy to get his own queen. He's pushing them like ladder. The issue with that strategy is that it usually doesn't get you the the queen in time. I'm actually gonna do a, a queen side castle here. In part. Partly is because uh, with the queenside castle, I can just um, have my, my rook here. So, bring my bishop out. Next up is going to be the queen. I'm going to bring her here, which is going to threaten that, that rook, this pawn. And yeah, those are the two big threats that I'd be posing with pushing my queen up here. Oh, and now since he decided to push that pawn, that's also hanging. So let's see how he decides to react. Brings out the queen. That's fine. I'll just take yellow's, I mean green's horse, I mean rook and green gives up <laughs> so first one out of the game red takes advantage of blue common thing to happen I realized all of them were are lower ranking than me Next turn, I'm taking Queen's, Queen's King and then bringing my Queen back into the board. That's a cool way to, to block that Bishop. Oh, I see what I had what red decided to do so what he might do this would be the best defense that he has so, the reason i didn't take is because uh, of uh, blue's queen even though he can like this is a, a big threat that oh okay so i'm gonna just take green and, and start sending everything to attack oh 
know what? First, I'm gonna defend. <laughs> he didn't just go for for blues blues king, so that's an interesting decision he took. So what I'm thinking is bringing my queen here, then taking the with the bishop he has to trade the best option there. Oh, okay, so he's forcing me to change that plan. Mm. Yes, I'm just gonna go ahead and start uh, getting myself set up to attack him. So for that, I'm gonna start with, with pushing this pawn, these two pawns out. Like, ideally, I'll get bishop also in the, in the attack. The idea is just to bring the pieces into a good position. Actually, I can do this. The reason I can get that done is because I push here, queen, take, check. Bring the queen into the center of the board. Now it, I'm threatening his, his rook over there. And I can just take his the this king for almost free. Okay, I'm not sure why he would do that because I've got a queen I could. Just move it back and he'll be in check again. So, 60 points. I can claim the win, but more fun to just play it out. And it usually ends up giving more points when you play it out. So, up next, uh, push out. Have to check him because of what what he's doing. Um, oh, trade of rooks would would be fine by me. Okay. Just gonna push out. He cannot do that or I'll just take with the queen and that's pointless for him. Okay, so... To get that pawn, I need to get here or there. But it's much easier like this. I don't know why I'm like, complicating myself to get this pawn when it's as easy as moving him there. But the the math to to get gain. This horse to take that pawn is here. Uh, that would be one of the options. The other one would be here. And then take it. Okay. 
Okay, so that part of the objective achieved. Just check him for now. This guy plays pretty well, but he, he got a bit unlucky that he on how the green and blue decided to play. Okay, so check, I'll take the, the free pawn next, and his horse is hanging. Okay. Trade of rooks. As I mentioned, it's fine by me. Doesn't really do anything. So the attack is for these two. He has sacrificed his strongest pawn there, which now allows me to just bring bring my pawn up. Now I can easily just maneuver my queens into a good checkmate position. Thinking of, oh, he didn't give me a chance to explain what I was thinking, but it's fine. He he did really well uh, for for how how many pieces he had. So I'll thank you all for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this four-player chess match. If if you like it, uh, like, comment, subscribe. And tell me what you think. I'd like to know uh, what you think I, I should be doing here, how to improve. So, see you next time. Bye!